Bible job for Christ meeting with wise man Daniel. Be in the mood of prayer. Stay connected. And the Lord will visit you in Jesus' name. Watch your screen. You can see the manifestation of evil spirits have been exposed. Through the mighty power of God, with just a touch from wise man Daniel. Praise the Lord. Church, praise in the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Collins Obi. The woman by my side is my lovely wife. The second person is my second daughter. Uh, she's, um, sorry, let me introduce my wife, Evangelist Happiness Obi. The other one is my second daughter, Love Obi. And uh, the guy beside her is uh, my second son, Light Obi. While the, the other one is my last baby in the house, Lumi Obi. The other one is my first son, Lucky Obi. And the last girl is my first daughter, Liberty Obi. Hallelujah. So, what a wonderful family you have, sir. So, please tell us what happened yesterday at the Abuja for Christ meeting with Wise Man Daniel. Okay, I want to start by saying we are from Imo State and we reside here in Abuja. Yesterday, we had an opportunity of being here yesterday. We are privileged to be the partaker of the yesterday's service. As the service was going on, during the time of laying our hands, the man of God went around and uh, touched every one of us. To my greatest surprise, my son ran to me and said that he has no problem again, that now his hand well, is okay now, that he doesn't have any problem in his hand. All right, so tell us, what was the problem that your son had? It all happened in 2017 when he had accidents. And uh, after then, he broke his shoulder. We took him to orthopedic, local orthopedic, where they worked on it. And after then, it had been a problem to the family. We believe, we thought everything is okay. But we discovered that from time to time, he will have dislocation from that bone, that particular joint. And we'll always take him back to the hospital or where the, the local orthopedic. And uh, each time we go there, we spend money. And uh, it's not even the money that is more concerned to us, but the pain he was going through since all this while. He goes through a lot of pain. I think even on December 27, last December, he had the same problem. But uh, yesterday, when prayer was going on, he told me that he tried. He can't even do something hard. He can't carry heavy object. But he said after then, he tried his hand, and uh, he noticed that the Lord has took control. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty. So can we hear from your son? Hallelujah. I'm Light Obi. Okay, tell us your name. I'm Light Obi. This is my dad, this is my mom, and these are my siblings. Okay, so tell us, what was the problem that you had? I had an accident four years ago, and due to the accident, I had dislocation on my shoulder. So since then, the hand do pull out from the socket, like it happens mostly, so often. Even if I sleep, even if I sleep, like, I'll just wake up and find out that the hand is already out, like, it has pulled out from the socket. But yesterday, when we were in this service, 
when the man of God lay hand on me, when the man of God lay hand on me, I found out that the hand is like, even if I try to like pull it out, it won't still pull. Before, I was not able to like move it backward, but now I can move it backward like. Hallelujah. So tell us, what was the experience that you had while the man of God was praying for you? When the man of God laid hand on me, I felt like, I felt so ease in my body, like, I felt some, like, one kind of sensation in my body. So, it was after the laying of hand that I found out that I was already healed. Hallelujah. So, yes, our brother here had a problem of severe shoulder dislocation. The problem was so severe that he couldn't raise his hand, and the shoulder would dislocate and cause him so much pain any time they tried to put the shoulder back in place. But after attending the Abuja for Christ meeting with wise man Daniel yesterday, the man of God prayed for him, and he is now able to move his shoulder freely once again to the glory of God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So, so we know that God Almighty has touched your whole family yesterday. Let us hear uh, who else received a miraculous healing in your family. Praise the Lord. I am happiness, Obi. The person beside me is my lovely husband and my children. Amen. I've been having, I, started, I noticed that I started having problem on my eyes. If I'm reading, about yes, five minutes, I, the, the, the write-up will be plenty, you know. The thing will be jumping from one place to another. I can't see clearly. Sometimes tears will be coming out of my eyes. So when the man of God was praying yesterday, he said that we should raise our right hand, that is no more our hand. So I believed God. After the prayers, I started touching all over the part that I was having issue. So when I opened my eyes, I find out that everywhere was very clearer to me than before. So I told my husband that I can see you. Amen. So I was very happy. Even concerning my son's testimony, when the man of God said that your hand is no more your hand, I remember his issue. I carry my right hand and put, because the place he had problem was his left shoulder. He was not sitting with me. I carry my right hand and put on the shoulder. They say, I am using my shoulder to connect him wherever he is. So I was not also surprised when he ran to me and told me that God have healed him from the shoulder dislocation. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty. So... Madame here was having an eye problem. She wasn't able to see or read clearly. But after the mass prayer yesterday during the Abuja for Christ meeting with wise man Daniel, she received healing to her sight and can now see clearly to the glory of God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. So let us hear what, who else in the family also received the touch from heaven. Praise the Lord. My name is Obi Love Chioma. This is my dad. This is my mom and this is my siblings. I want to thank God because when I came to yesterday's Abuja for Christ meeting, God really touched me. I want to thank God because for five years now, I've been bedwetting and I've been having abnormal pain and that result to menstruation two times in a month. So... When I came yesterday, I, I was praying in that, on my chair, before the wise man came and, and touched me. So when he touched me, those pains, that pain that I was having in my, old, in my abdomen stopped. And I want to thank God because when I went home and I checked, I, that pains, I was like bending down because before I could not bend down. Before I could not bend down. So when I went home, I was bending down, and I find out that I could not see, I could not 
have those pain anymore. And when I woke up this morning, I find out that I'd not bed weight in the bed like before. Hallelujah. So how often did you use to bed wet? Every night. Like, like, like if I'm sleeping now, I'm going, I, I will have a dream. Then I will not say that, excuse me, let me go and ease myself. As I'm pissing there, that is how I'm, that physically, I'm going to be pissing on the bed. So when I wake up, when I'll find out that I've already eased myself on top of the bed. But last night, I did not have that dream anymore. I want to thank God. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. Let us hear from your father about this experience. So what do you have to say about the healing in your daughter's life? Praise the Lord. What uh, I have to say is that it has been a terrible experience for the family. Uh, I have been putting this into prayers. So sometimes I do my best. I pray it, it will cease. Later, it will continue. But this time around, when I heard uh, that wise man, Daniel is coming to Abuja, because I know what the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. And we don't, the issue of this God's work, we don't take it to our own glory. We allow God to do his work and use any vessel he, can, he prepared to use. So I know that, I knew that um, wise man, Daniel is going to be a vessel. He's going to be a vessel God we used to permit this case. So what is, she said uh, was true. Yes, uh, this morning I called her. That was the first thing that came to my mind. I sent to her senior sister, I said, call her to my room. She came, I said, did you bed wet last night? She said no. That she didn't see, she didn't see anything again. I knew that something has happened. And two, she manifested here yesterday and started vomiting. In fact, I didn't even see her. We were sitting somewhere there. My wife called me. She stopped me. She said, see, she said, our daughter is vomiting. So that thing she vomited is a clear evidence that what was tormenting her is gone. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty for all that he has done in your family. Is there anyone else in your family that has a testimony to share? You're welcome. Praise, Tell us your name. Praise the Lord. My name is Liberty Obi. I want to thank God for the good work he has done in my life. Before now, I usually have hot nest in my head and due to that I, I was not able to read and understand and secondly I whenever I am sleeping at night I feel something suppressing me but when the man of God was coming close to me I felt a sensation like fear but immediately he touched my head instantly Something left me. I want to appreciate. I want to appreciate God for everything He has done for me. Now I can read and understand. Hallelujah. So, what is your advice to everyone? My advice is that we should put God first in everything. Wonderful. And let us hear from your father. So we thank God Almighty for all that he has done in your life. He has touched your beautiful family one by one. What is your advice to the whole world out there? My advice to the viewers is whenever you have a problem, make sure you don't keep it to yourself. Bring it to God. Because God is the author and finisher of our faith. He takes care of every problem, and there is no case Jesus cannot heal. 
right from time, my family has believed in Christ. We believe in God. And we always take our case to him. So bring your case to God. And also, the Bible says, when you believe in God, it says, believe in God, you shall be established. Then when you believe your prophet, you shall prosper. So we shouldn't joke with our prophet. And believe that God is the one that heals. He's a giver of blessing and healing. But the channel comes from God. So let's look for that channel that can activate our miracles. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God Almighty for everything that he has done. And we want to encourage you to continue to make God's word the standard for your family so all of you can maintain the goodness that you have received from him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Viewers all over the world, here is your brother, your son, and your friend, wise man Daniel. Viewers all over the world, viewers all over the world, this is a call for vigilance. I'm here to clear the air concerning some fake Facebook accounts and YouTube accounts that have been operating in my name. Wow, you'll be surprised to hear that some are claiming to be wise man Daniel on YouTube, demanding for money for burial, demanding for money for coffin, demanding for money for casket, demanding for money for meeting, family meeting, demanding for money to, to visit the orphanage home, to do charity. Who? Who demands for that? Please, 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 viewers all over the world, lovers of Wiseman Daniel, supporters of Wiseman Daniel, supporters of Emmanuel TV, please take note. Frosters are everywhere. They want to use this opportunity to defraud you if you're not careful. Let me tell you some of the secrets they are applying now. Each time I post a video on YouTube, they will go to the comment section and begin to prophesy to you. Whereas I, for one, was Daniel, I don't prophesy to people on comment section on YouTube. I don't. I have never done it before. Upon that, they will start asking you to go and pay money to a certain orphanage home. Wow. I'm not a founder of any orphanage home. I'm not affiliated to any orphanage home. These people will just go to the comment section. Each time you comment, they will attack you by saying, oh, beloved, want to tell you this, you are facing this, you are facing that. They will start telling you fake prophecies just to woo you to collect money from you. Where you know they are fake, how can somebody prophesy to you and collect money from you? I don't do that. And I can never do that. That's not the doctrine of Jesus Christ. It's, it's never the doctrine of my mentor who just passed on to glory. No! We don't publicly come to ask for money. Supporters know how they support. If we need anything from you, we know how to meet you. Not to come publicly and start advertising for money. Money and salvation don't go together to that area, the way you're looking at it. Money and salvation don't go that way. You can't heal somebody and collect money from the person. If you heal somebody and collect money from the person, you are collecting the person's sickness. It's after healing you, if God puts it in your heart to support the person who healed you, whom God used to heal you, fine. But not to force money out of you. No. Anything that comes by force is no longer salvation. Please, 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 viewers all over the world, take note, especially there's a YouTube channel that has just been created in the name of my ministry. The fake people, they call it the Elohim TV. There you'll be surprised to find the logo of my church, my picture, and the content of my YouTube channel, official YouTube channel, was Madonna Ministries. The person will just pick it from our official YouTube channel and upload. If you are not careful, you think I'm the owner of that YouTube channel, whereas I don't know anything about it. Please, viewers all over the world, don't fall a victim. Frosters are everywhere. Be patient to have the right spelling of Wisemandana Ministries. Sometimes they will remove D. They will put you there in between to, to confuse you. Ministries may be well spelled, but in between Daniel, Wisemandana, they will mix the word. If you're not careful to observe, you'll fall a victim. And mind you, scripturally, take note of this. You that is duped as a result of desperation, and the person that duped you, Equal punishment. Equal punishment. How can somebody tell you for God's sake? How do you want to, even if you want to dupe? You see, on this ground, you want to dupe people? Do you know the personality that just passed away? 
You are bringing curses upon yourself and your generation yet unborn. Asking for money for casket, asking for money for burial, for what reason? For God's sake. Well, it's part of our journey in life, says the Bible. But you, the duped and the duper, the froster and the defrauded, equal punishment. Please beware of frosters. They are everywhere now. Using was Daniel's name to do that, was Daniel's name to do that. Please be careful when you comment at the comment section of every video I post on my YouTube channel. They are there to attack you, to ask you for money, to extort money from you. Please. And this YouTube channel, the Elohim TV, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. The one bearing my logo, bearing my picture and my content, I don't know anything about it. So viewers all over the world, be careful, be careful, be careful. Likewise, on the Facebook, officially, I don't have any Facebook handle, officially as I'm talking now, because of this issue of fraud. Remember what they did to me last time? I'm not also on Twitter because of this issue of fraud. I just want to cut my coat according to my size. I don't want to go beyond my boundary. Money is not everything. It's just a small slice of life. Why are we impatient for God's sake? Viewers all over the world, desperation can lead you astray. Desperation for miracle, desperation for healing, desperation for this and that can lead you astray. You can imagine what frosters are doing now. They have the audacity and the gut to start demanding money for coffin, demanding money for, for, for burial. For what reason at this point in time where everybody's supposed to become and wait upon the Lord, unite. You are defrauding people based on the issue on ground. Wow. Remember, there is God. I don't have any official Facebook account. I don't have any official Twitter account because of these following activities. So now it's an opportunity for me to air to you my official YouTube channel. Take note. If I were you, write it down. My official YouTube channel goes thus www.youtube.com slash c slash wiseman daniel ministries i repeat www.youtube.com slash c slash wiseman daniel ministries and when you want to compute this or impute this into your system, be very careful to spell it accurately because frosters have devised a means of removing one letter and putting another one. If you're not careful, they will deceive you. And you think you are communicating with Mandania Ministries, whereas you are communicating with frosters. They're everywhere. In the YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, they're everywhere. Two, my official Instagram handle goes thus. Wise man underscore Daniel Ministries. I repeat, wise man underscore Daniel Ministries. Take note, they may put double underscore. It's not mine. Take note, they may say wise man Daniel underscore ministries. It's not mine. They may change it to different ways. They are very, very crafty and deceptive in their nature. I repeat, my official Instagram handle goes thus. Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Thank you. And my inquiry lines slash partnership lines goes thus. Plus 234 I repeat. Plus 234 Nine zero four double eight two four eight seven four. The second inquiry line or partnership line goes thus plus two three four seven zero four zero nine four five double zero seven. I repeat plus two three four seven zero four zero nine four five double zero seven. Those are the inquiry line slash partnership line. Now, the prayer request line, I repeat, the prayer request line, where you send your prayer request and we eventually forward the amazing power of prayer point to you. Or if you're opportunity to have me online, I will pray for you. Praying for you is as good as using the amazing power of prayer point. It's from God's bedroom. So the prayer request line goes thus. Plus 234 0247. I repeat, plus two three four 
902-14-70247. That is the prayer request line. Then the testimony line goes thus. The testimony line, once you are healed, delivered, blessed, you can send your testimony. The testimony line goes thus. Plus 234-9015-113002. I repeat the testimony line. Plus 234-9015-113002. And all these lines are on WhatsApp. Why do you have it on WhatsApp? So that you can forward us videos of your testimonies, videos of your healing, videos of your deliverances, or whatever picture you want to send to us to pray for you. You can always send it. So once again, for now, we are not officially on Facebook. We are not officially on Twitter because of rosters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Following are just a few examples out of thousands of fake accounts.